see the map today. And um, every time I walked into bat tennis, it seemed to present me with these short pitch deliveries. And um, I was getting a little bit fed up of it. <laughs> there was a few short ones mixed in there, and uh, he probably felt I was maybe having a go at him. Um, I was just running in the bowling as fast as I could and hoping to get wickets. The worst thing you can do is upset a good player. I've always felt that you try and keep it calm with a good player. And obviously this had got up Gary's nose a little bit and he decided that uh, he was going to do something about it. I went into dressing room that evening to sit next to Ian. I went to carry a message so that Dennis can hear. And I sit next to, um, to Ian and I said, Ian, you've got a man in here called Lily. You know, I was going back to the old days when they used to call cricketers by their surname. <laughs> I said, you got a man in here called Lily, and every time I go into bat, I seem to be getting these short pitch deliveries. I just want you to tell him, or to let him know, that I can bowl short, I can bowl quick, and I can bowl bounces too. So he better watch, watch out for me when he came in. Lily batting. Well, there you are. Gary Sobers, defying the law of understanding between fast bowlers. Dropping one short to Lily. And then just looked at me down the wicket and said, I bowl him well too. And by this time, Dennis turned completely pink. So I thought to myself, well, I've got him. So I ran up the next ball and took the weight off, and Dennis had one big swing. Beattie is getting under it, and he's caught. So at the end of the day's play, walk back into the dressing room again. There's a big smile on my face. And Ian said to me, Why, what are you so happy about? I said, well, I'm your friend. I mean, if I can't come in here and have a smile with you, something is wrong. He said, well, I've got to tell you something. He said, before Dennis could reach the dressing room, just as he was coming up the steps, as this door opened, the bat hit the wall. And he said, that little bastard, I will show him. I haven't really bowled at him yet. I said, well, Ian, you know, he's got the ball. I've got the bat. We'll see. And where's that going? Out towards the boundary again. Four more. Where's that going? Towards the boundary. Will beat every field and it's slowing down. Jenna's after it. It's going to be close. Jenna may just reach this. They could run for and the ball might just win. It does. Where's that gone? It's out towards the boundary. Four more. They okay, keep couldn't get near it. A magnificent shot. I had three guys out there. And at one stage, I clearly remember him square driving or cutting between the three of those guys on a couple of occasions. Now, I mean, that's amazing batting. He's on 99. And that's his 100. And a standing ovation. It does stick in my mind as one of the, the great innings that I've uh, had, had the, in this case, not so much the pleasure to see, but uh, the job of trying to stop. And in the air, drop the dust. Could be six. Beautiful shot. That's a six. Very few people could have played in innings like Sobers played, and um, yeah, so I, I felt that you know, having grown up as a teenager in Adelaide and seen him play here, um, you know, I'd, I'd recognise the genius of the man at that stage. But to see it against that quality bowling um, just brought it home to me that he really was a class above the rest of us. He's as far in front of the next all rounder that I've seen as Bradman is in front of the next guy in batting average, and that's a hell of a lot. 202, 24 fours, two sixes, only 329 minutes. Also, I would say about Gary Sobers, he's the best batsman that I ever saw or played against. Tremendous batsman. Magnificent shot, and Sobers does not move from the crease. Sir Donald Bradman would later describe this Sobers masterpiece Magnificent shot as the greatest innings he had ever seen played in Australia. There's his 250. He could be out. Doug Walters caught it mid-on. And Gary Sobers leaves the ground and the crowd is standing to applaud Gary Sobers as he leaves the ground. Caught Walters 
bold Greg Chappell, 254. I'll say no more, just listen to that crowd. Who's the greatest cricketer on earth? Oh man, anyone can tell you it's the great. So Garfield Sobers, this handsome Barbadian lad, really knows his work. Batting or bowling, he's a cricket king, no joke. Three chairs for Captain Sobers, win or lose his spectators are always pleased. With the greatest team on earth, who else but the West Indies? Men like Butcher, Joe Solomon, Kanayan Davis, and Nelson Rodriguez, Conrad Hunt and White Gibbs, and the wicked keeper Hendricks. Australia, you lost the West Indies, is boss the trophy. Belong to us. I say you lost, and you know you lost by ya. Australia, stick your brain. Australia, don't mind you lost. Better luck next time. Australian jokers send on crash helmet to protect the batsman from Hall and Charlie Griffith. I felt so sorry for Simpson, he tried but in vain. When Griffith and Hall, we can start to fall like rain. Three chefs for Hall and Griffith. O'Neill went Australia making big riot. When he was facing Griffith and Hall, he so blew me quiet. When O'Neill made real fast bowling, is to see him ducking. And then the very guy telling so much lie, telling the world how Griffith chucking. Australia, you lost the West Indies, his boss, the trophy belong to us. I say you lost, and you know you lost. Ball. Australia, stick your brain. Australia, don't mind your loss. Better luck next time. Australia was strong, but only on paper. The four tests in Barbados, they fooled the scoreboard. But Rohan and Seymour carry up with score. Oh Lord, three chairs for Nurse and Kanai. Special praise to Conrad Hunter, our opener. Brian Davis, Solomon, Lance Gibbs, Hendricks and Basil Busher. All the boys fought gallantly under Sobers' captaincy. So hip 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 hooray, hip 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 hooray, for a glorious victory. Australia, you lost the West Indies, his boss wore a trophy, belong to us. I say you lost, and you know you lost, come on. Australia, stick your brain, Australia, don't mind your loss, 